hey guys welcome back to programming made easy so in today's video we are having a scenario that is uh, this is my account record so what am i doing in here is uh, i would be adding some of the files as a notes and attachment so i'm adding a file uh, that is this uh, image let us say so i have added this image okay uh, so yes uh, and our image is up so now what i want is my scenario is like i have to get the list of all the accounts like or the i want to get the notes and attachments for a particular account or specifically what we could say is like uh, i want to get all the documents attached to a particular account or the uh, or my case could be like i want uh, the list of all the uh, notes and attachments or files you could say of uh, a list of accounts okay so how we would be making this possible we would be understanding in this video so guys what is your content document and content document link and what is the relation of this with our scenario okay so we would be understanding that so basically what is a content document it represents a document that has been uploaded to a library in salesforce crm content or salesforce files basically anything that we attach as a file we can get the things as a content document okay we could understand that thing as a content document you could say a file uh, a file and entity is a content document okay and this object is available in after 17th version so you could make use of that moving further now what is the content document link so basically this is as you know salesforce is uh, based over the object structuring so the content document link object this represent a link between the salesforce crm content document or we could say that it establishes a link between your salesforce file and where it is shared like uh, i could have notes and attachment to everything or every standard or custom object i choose to have right so now it is up to me like to uh, like i need to search a file so uh, in which entity should i search it for uh, is that is that in contacts is it in accounts is it in cases or is it in any other custom objects so the binding between your file and the file that uh, is being referenced or in which record that file is present is the mediator layer that is sorted by your content document link so a question arises that can we query on the content document and the content document link as in for our programmatic approach the answer is yes and how do we do is is like this so in here what you could see is i took a list of content document link okay and what i am doing is select id content document id and content document dot title and linked entity id from content document link where linked entity id is your object id now let us break all the things so what is your content document id basically it is the id of your associated file like as we took in our scenario i uploaded a file okay so now the id of that file is your content document id understood and content document dot title is the title of your file that you have uploaded it could be a b c d anything or the name of the file as it is that is there like uh, a refrigerator tv mobile laptop dot png dot jpeg like in the images we are talking about okay now comes our linked entity id so this is the id of the associated object to which it is added as a related list so now in our case what i did was i went to the account object in the related list i uploaded a file so in the linked entity id the associated object id would be the record id of the account okay moving further now we would be classifying the difference between your content document and content document link so so far so i am thinking like you got a basic idea in your mind like what is content document and what is content document link 
so emphasizing on this more our content document is the entire file itself the file name of the file the type of the file like what data it is carrying and uh, um, anything all the sort of information that we could say is the metadata that is your content document basically a file is a content document in simple terms for simple people to understand now what is the content document link now this is a bridge between the file and where it has been added like uh, if we are adding into account so this uh, content document link what it would store would store the account id and the uh, associated content document id which is a unique identifier okay and content document object as i told you stores the metadata and content document object has a unique identifier called the content document id so for every file you upload it would be unique for everything and your content document link what it does is as i told you it contains two unique fields the linked entity id and the content document id so basically all these refer to uh, our account of uh, our specific object and a specific file hope you understood till now so now let us see why this code is like i am having a list of content document link in this i am saying select id linked entity id because from content document link now this code would be more clear like the linked entity id let us say account okay and the content document id is the id of the file that i have uploaded on that account is deleted share type this all you would get from the content document link only and where linked entity id again is your account id account record id okay so i have declared a set and in that set uh, what i am doing is i am adding the uh, content document id into my set and from here i am querying all the content documents like select id name file type description from content document id where id in document ids so this was the code i hope you understood this so what uh, we should do is uh, uh, let us see the implementation in our dev console so let us see like select id from content document and let us say i'm i'm i also want the title from content document so let me execute this so see refrigerators was this and uh, i added this refrigerators in here see refrigerators at the oled laptop so see it is showing the id now let us say i want this id and what i am doing is uh, i am adding it into the uh url so it would give me this uh, individual file record object so let us see so see guys it went to the file object and uh, this entire is your content document i have was saying the file size the file extension the owner and details everything the views title description and everything is your content document so now in order to have a content document link what i would be going doing is i'm going back to this account so now we would be querying on the content document link so i would be saying select id from content document link where linked entity id is your id of the account so let us see what result it gives so it is giving uh, id of the content document link so now let us say content document dot title so see it is giving the title of our laptop uh, and the refrigerator and now what what if we copy the id of this and paste it in here so see it it refers to nothing because it is just a mediator so uh, content document dot title and you could also gather other fields from here as well uh, like uh, uh, content document id 
content document id so this is the id of the associated file so you could copy paste and go to the associated file object in here so i hope now everything got got into clear like what is your content document and difference between your file content document content document link because these are very crucial uh, things when whenever you are going to start with your development so sometimes you would encounter such kind of things so yes you should be aware like what is what are all those things and how we should tackle them okay so this was it and i hope if you understood the video please give us a like and if you have any suggestions or queries you could comment down below thanks for watching